Hello there everybody, my name is Michael Gray, and today I am playing chapter number 4 of Death Upon an Austrian Sonata. The map led us both to Germany. I needed to confront him to get the other stolen pieces. But how would I do that without endangering my life? Chapter 4, Train to Germany. Alright, so we are on the train, and we want to find a thief. And the thief is right here. But we need to get close to him without being recognized. So we're gonna need an awesome disguise. Like a jacket. I need a pair of shades, a jacket, and something to hide my hair. Okay, okay, so we need some shades. Uh, hey, a hat. You'd like to borrow this hat? Well, that's a bit of an odd request from a stranger. <laughs> Why don't you sit with me first? Let's play a game. Okay. Pretty simple game. You just want to match everything with its opposite. Let's see if I can find any opposites. You know, uh, apple and an eaten apple. Apparently those are opposites. Okay. I'll find another pair someday. Um... Uh, Oh yeah, thumbs up and thumbs down. Thumbs up and thumbs down. Okay, so... Ooh, smiley face and frowny face. Smiley face and frowny face. Angel and the devil. A chicken and roast chicken. I guess those are kind of opposites. Not really. Ooh, fishbowl with fish and empty fishbowl. Sword and shield. You know, those are more like things which go together rather than things which are opposite, you know? Um, rainy day, sunny day. Dogs and cats. Treasure chest and, uh, treasure chest. Water and fire. Okay, so now we have the hat. Awesome, our disguise is pretty much the best disguise ever. We still need shades. Uh, I think we get shades here. Do, 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 do. Right here, yeah, it's inside our bag. Old coin. These things, hairpins, I think they're called. So just click on everything. Whoa, I can move something. Uh, what am I looking for now? Flowers, flowers. Okay, flowers. That was easy. A pen. Hairpins. And the diamond ring is kind of hard to find. Uh, you want to open up this stuff, the cover-up, which has the diamond inside. I don't know who keeps the diamond for their ring inside cover-up, but apparently Dana does. Cool. Now, uh, we have a problem here. Reading glasses are not shades. Yeah, we're gonna have to paint these shades black. And we need to get inside the locker, so I think I have to go, uh, here to this table. Right? Right. Aha! A key! There we go. So that's the key for the locker. And now we have the paint, which we can use on the reading glasses to make shades. Oh, but I need a brush. A brush. Okay, little kid. Hello. Can you help me color these pages? I'm not too good with colors. Yeah, that kid kind of has a strange voice. Yeah, I'll just solve the puzzle now. 31. It's a simple match the numbers puzzle. You you you've done paint by number uh, paint by numbers before, right? Well, I haven't, but uh, I, I know... Oh, and I can't click in a wrong spot? Wow, that makes this super easy. Yeah, it looks like you can't paint in the wrong area. Nice. Okay, 41. Looks like we have a lot of 41s. A lot of 42s as well. Uh, 
looks like we have a lot of 22s. That's green. That's green. Okay. You know, flowers, flowers are usually green, right? That makes sense. Right, 21, 21, 21. Um, 11, 11, 11. Looks like everything else is just 12. 12, 12, 12, 12. Okay. Maybe not the most exciting puzzle, but hey, we got the paintbrush. That's a lot. Here, you want to borrow my paintbrush? It's yours. It's my gift. For helping me color. Okay, well, that's nice of the child. Thank you very much. We can use the paintbrush on the shades. So this is kind of a strange puzzle. You want to click on the uh, glasses in the right areas. Uh, apparently, I did not click on the right areas. You just want to cover the entire, entire thing. And apparently that counts. Right, okay, I I'm not sure how that puzzle works. Gotta be honest, I don't quite understand it. Anyway, we have shades. I don't think I'll be able to see through them because they've been painted, but hey, it's a good disguise. And now I can have some cake because cake is delicious. Uh, the cup is kind of dirty, though. What are you saying? 30% profit? I thought we agreed I'd get 50% out of this. That's not the price we agreed on. If you're not paying me for these music sheets, I'll find someone else who can. Aha! Maybe if I posed as a buyer, I could find a way to get the music sheets. But how? I quickly wrote him an anonymous note and devised a way to pass it to him. I will offer you double of what you're getting now. Meet me at your cabin. Okay! Waiter, a cup of coffee, please? Waiter, I want a cup of coffee. Come on, waiter. Okay, so, we are going to sneak this note to him, you know, through the coffee. But first, we need to distract the waiter. Okay, so we can distract the waiter right here. If a rat came out of here, that would cause a big scene. And rats love cake. Do rats love cake? I don't know. Cake is delicious, so I guess it makes sense that rats love cake. A rat? Help! Please! Somebody get rid of it! I'm allergic to rodents! How embarrassing! Don't worry, miss. I'll get rid of it. Alright, thank you. Thank you very much. And now we can go upstairs to the bar area. Do, finding things, uh, clicking on random things. Ooh, cake. Aw, no cake? Whoa, yeah, cake! Fantastic. You want to build a tea set there. Uh, silver tongs, spatula, ice cream, mm -hmm, delicious. Rolling pin and a knife. Okay, so uh, we have a couple of puzzles in a row right here. First, uh, we're making coffee. So beans go in the grinder, then you just grind the beans up. Put the beans in this coffee dispenser. Put water in the coffee... Do you call that a coffee dispenser? Is it a coffee maker? I don't know. Anyway, uh, we have coffee now. And we put the note right here. Cool. So the next puzzle is this. It's a mathematical puzzle. You want to arrange everything from a uh, smallest number to largest number. So for example, A1 is 7 and A2 is 3. So obviously 3 goes before 7. Let's see, A2 and A2 is 3 plus 3, which is 6. 6 goes before 7. C1 is the largest number here. So I imagine C1 is like the final thing. Uh, I mean, we have like four things with C1, so those have to be sort of near the end. B1 plus A2 is uh, 13. B2 plus A2 plus A2, that's 5 plus... 5 plus 6, that's uh, 11. 11 before 13. 
A1 and B2 is uh, 12, so that's before 13. Now I guess we just need to figure out what these final three are. Um, A1... E2 goes there. Ah, oh, there we go! Alright, fantastic. Does it really take you, um, seven minutes to make a cup of coffee, though? That, that seems like a lot. That's the end of that, Rat. Now back to work. Okay! My plan worked. He headed towards his cabin. He'll lead me straight to the music sheets. Well, I guess either that or he just wanted to go back to his cabin. Um, I don't know. Anyway, the thief probably has some music sheets. Dana has a point. Now that I've got him cornered, how do I confront him? I'd better be careful. Okay, how is he not suspicious of the woman in all black who is following him? Seriously, you are the worst thief ever. And I can hear something. I can hear something. So what we want to do is solve the puzzle of hearing whatever it is. Okay, so grab the tissue. Use the tissue on this dirty cup. And we can use the cup on the door to hear what's going on inside the room. You leave me no choice, partner. Thump! Yeah, you know that scene would have worked better if I actually heard a loud thumping noise. Anyway, uh, butter. We can use butter here. Or, we, we can get butter here. Get the butter, we use it on this locker. So we can get the card to the thief's room. And what was that loud thump? We'll find out. I couldn't believe it. The thief was double-crossed by his own partner. If he was just a hired goon, then who was I really after? Yeah, yeah. Somebody knocked out the thief. Oh, and there's the ghost again, Haley's. She wants us to look inside the, the briefcase. Ah, but we don't have the code for the briefcase. Okay, so here's the thief. You can examine him five times to get an achievement. An achievement for checking out his nice abs? Okay, I feel uncomfortable now. Anyway, um, we have a battery. Not a battery, we have a phone which lacks a battery. The battery looks like it's over here, you know, underneath all this uh, dirty laundry. Very messy thief. Ah, but all the tangles. Yeah, oh man, this is just like when you, you stick the headphones for your iPod in your pocket and everything gets all tangled up within two seconds. It's, ah, oh, I hate it when that happens. Okay, well, that was simple enough, that was simple enough. Man, man, electronics are a pain sometimes when they get all messed up. Okay, so phone. And while the phone is charging, let's play a little game, one of these games where you move everything around. Uh, kind of difficult, but here's how you do it. Do Let me see, move these guys back, this down, move left. I move everything up here. Okay, if I move these two guys level, I can move uh, our heroes right. Which means I can move this like that. I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. Yeah, no, that doesn't seem to be the solution. Let's try again. All these guys, I mean, bottom row all the way right. All the way down. These guys left. Down. Left. Up. 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 Uh, right. These guys right. Up. It's all the way left. Now I can move green down so I can move these guys right once more. Which means I can move this guy up. Hmm, I can move blue down so I can move these two up one more time. Move this guy back. Green up. Hmm, doesn't really seem to do anything, but what if I move this down, and these guys left, this up, now I can move, uh, this, uh, brown one left, and sort of move everything down. Mm -hmm. Alright, this helps, uh, a little bit, I would say. 
doesn't really look like it's helping all too much. Let's uh, move these guys like this. There we go. That's your solution. You want to get the green and red, I mean, green and blue ones at the bottom. So you can simply move your guys over here. Kind of difficult puzzle. Um, if you want, you can use the hint button. Press the hint button and it gets rid of one of the pieces on the board. Thereby making the puzzle so much simpler. And bomb. Bomb. Boom. B-O-H-M. Okay, so... That is the person that the thief has been contacting, and it also happens to be uh, the code for his briefcase. He named the briefcase after his partner? Kind of strange. Alright, there we go. And this is basically it. That's basically the end of the chapter, because uh, we find some passports. And we find the music sheet. Uh, more importantly, the map on the other side of the music sheet. So we can use this on our map. And uh, looks like our map is almost done. How many more pieces do you think we need? One, two, maybe three? The German authorities took care of the thief. But my journey wasn't over. Who was the mastermind behind all this? From the thief's travel book, he was headed towards a conservatory. Could the final music sheets be here? It was time to face the music. <laughs>